Wes. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's going on here, Matt? Chilling, dude. Just fucking, you know. What's all this mumbo jumbo you've gotten yourself into, dude? <laughs> you talking about my sebzi, bro? What is this? It's my sebzi. It's, Mor- it's a ceremonial hash pipe from Morocco. It's not a big deal, dude. I've we've obviously dude, you seem to be making a big deal out of it. I'm not making. A, I'm just setting it out, dude. Ceremoniously, you, it's just it's a nice piece, dude. I always want to show it off, you know. Well, I'll tell you something, man. I don't like it. Some of us prize fast cars, dude. It's just this is my stuff. This is what I ball out. What on. is this? The fucking high spirits, dude. Key of G minor, 432 hertz. Seat on the insignia, rainbow moonstone with the exact ripple that 432 makes on water or sand. <laughs> I'm fly as hell, dude. You hate it. What is yeah. what is <laughs> the top there? This is this piece is called the fetish. This is what gives it its voice. So if you were to slide this thing back, it would throw off the whole sound. It has to be pre- it has to be placed in the proper place. Mm. Billy was talking some mess about my flute. On I heard you Patreon. got yours off Amazon. Not Amazon. It's from High Spirits. It's a reputable I heard dealer. It was a colonial. Dude, here's the thing. I heard it was a colonist flute. That look, <laughs> I try not to look. I don't I try to engage in wrong speech where I harm other people in their businesses. So oh, yeah, you don't want to put down the man's business. Oh, his business. He'll, Another, his, you don't want to put down a colonizer's business. He's thriving. <laughs> yeah. They got they. The whole thing started because well, did they, they run off the real Native Americans that made those? No, not at all, dude. They're probably no. working tandem with Native artists. But Billy and I was, I was teasing them because I, yeah. I went. We all went to this place in Florida, and like, dude, I want to crush this lady. She has like a little trading post. It's, it's cool. She's a nice lady. I picked up a flute there. Mine was in the mail, so I'm like, oh, let me hear his voice. I wasn't really digging the sound, and that's all I said. Spud got one, and I was kind of like, yeah. He picked up a bad flute. It's a decorative piece. It's a beautiful piece, but it's more of a decorative piece. This That's is, what I was trying to tell is, him. This needs to stop. What? That's all I was this is whatever this it's, character it's, it's, is. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite characters. This is one of my least favorite characters. I did. I want to do a cover. This lady has a dude. What are you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what are you doing to what? You know you're doing this to me. <laughs> I'm not. Why are you doing this to me, man? I was just saying how good things were. <laughs> things are things are good. <laughs> I'm saying they're trying to say that's a colonizer flute. That's also that's a cover, by the way, by um, I believe. By <laughs> that is a. I don't want to steal credit for that tune. That, that was is, a cover. That's a borrowed tune. Yeah, that's a uh, Dancing Moon by Purnell. Purnell's a beautiful artist, dude. <laughs> How are you talking about? I'm doing this to you, and I'm glad you're doing things this on purpose. Great. Things have been great. What are you talking about, dude? You're doing this on purpose. What? Cop trying flute? to sabotage our lives? How? <laughs> dude, I'm getting into bullshit. <laughs> What are you talking about, <laughs> dude? It's a beautiful instrument, man. It is. It's a. It pe- it's it's an inlet. It's just a pentatonic minor scale. So Can every- I hold it? Yeah, dude. Please let me. Here. Get the spit out. Get the spit out of that, dude. Hold wow. that thing. Wow. Feel the power. You're right. That thing's beautiful, man. It's it's lighter than you'd think. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, that Thanks is nice, a man. beautiful piece here. The leather. It's a, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been genuinely worried about someone smashing this thing. Really? Between you and Brittany, I have two strong contenders for flute breakers. <laughs> Who's going to break it? <laughs> I have, Brittany's going to break it. She kind of likes it. I've, I've, I've actually turned her around. She's, she's dude, trying to trick herself into saying she likes uh, it. She was in the bathtub, and I was playing downstairs. She's like, dude, I was about to fall asleep. It's, it's, you can't. It's 432 hertz, dude. Now that I can carry a tune on it. If you're, in the, if you're taking a bath and you hear that drone in below you, the floor below, you're just kind of like, oh, man. I go on my roof deck at nighttime and just put a blanket and just fucking wail so hard on it. And dude, it's this <laughs> can't be, you cannot be doing this. Yeah. So like no one can see where it's <laughs> coming. No one can see where it's coming from. So people are just probably walking their dog and they're like, let me hear it again. Dude. So you're walking your dog down the street and you hear this in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Just you like, like the end. end. Oh, you got you got figured you. out how to do the end. <laughs> Dude, I might start getting up first thing in the morning, hit people with one of these. Sorry, that's not good. Sorry, guys. 
<laughs> I have too much spit in this moisture barrier. There we go. <laughs> Early in the morning. But dude, it's nothing personal. This is just a, this is a hobby I'm into, dude. It's nice. I'm not going to have it every single time. I wanted to show it to you. Where does it come from? What what tribes? What are we talking here? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't done my due diligence. Dude, I'm more of a musician. You know what I mean? I just I'm I'm a music guy. So it's oh, like Oh no, dude. What? Now you have dark chocolate also. <laughs> Dude, I'm more of a musician. What are you doing today? What are you talking about, dude? I'm here. It's Sunday. This is out of control. Now, what's going on with that pipe? You got me out like here on a Sabbath. You smoke that pipe, Patreon. I'll save that. That's You're gonna save there. drugs for the Patreon? I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to, you know. But I, I'll need total silence, so if you guys would respect. This Why? Place. Well, it's a ceremonial pipe, dude. I can't smoke it amongst chatter. I mean, I'll go outside if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> dude, how the fuck was Jamaica, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. Jamaica was crazy, man. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It, it wasn't really that crazy. It was just I got fucked up at a hotel <laughs> for five days. Who was who else was with you in terms uh, of in terms of like the like the demo at the place you're at? It was a rich people place, so it was all rich adults. I feel like when you go there, it's a lot of like Canadians. Well, yeah, there were Canadians. Yeah, man. When you go on vacation, it's just yeah. you. And it's, you're just in Canada in another country. Yeah, there were Canadians. British are down in Jamaica. A lot. Yeah, I could see that. And it was like a man. I love to sock it like to a, a British tourist. I would love to right punch a fucking stomach, oh, dude. Oh god, dude. People like, keep asking, "Well, when you come to the UK, it's like, bro, you'll know when I come there." Yeah, and it's gonna be a there's fucking gonna be problem. A, there's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. fucking problem when I come to the UK. Yeah. Do you think I'm gonna walk on enemy land, dude? I never forgot. I never forgot. If we if we go and do a UK tour, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a fucking problem, dude. The, the IRA might show up. They they probably will and come back. They will. It's bad. <laughs> no, to say that it's totally fine. <laughs> You're not it's totally fine. I don't know if we're allowed to say. Now that. I know why when they're like telling Muslims like, "Yo, denounce radical Islam," they're like, "Nah, no, those guys are kind of cool." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to like, "Yo, denounce those dudes, that, denounce that, the that, rock stars of your religion." I'd yes. be like, Meh. "Denounce the dudes that risked it all to you fight the like, empire." Yeah, do you think they're like Italians with the mafia? They're like, "Yeah, one of my uncles in a Taliban, dude." Talk definitely. shit to me. There's definitely got to be like Italians with the mob. Definitely, there's all dudes from like the Taliban. Kandahar province. So like, <laughs> dude, that's the, that's their New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> the Kandahar province. They're all like, yeah, my uncle knew Bin Laden. He was Bin Laden's driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of smuggles funny. Poppy. I I do believe that. I mean, dude, how could you let you that have go? to be if yeah. Wops in America are all like, yeah, I'm connected. Oh, dude, I've every I'm, single I'm Italian guy I've ever talked connected. to, exception of Gardini. That's because Gardini's a law dog. True, <laughs> true that. You guys have been fucking silencing them. Yeah, I play by the rules, dude. True that, Gardini. You got roughhouse a little bit last night. Roughhouse, <laughs> no, yeah. You, you got about. You, you got tossed about. Shoe. You got roughhoused. What happened? Yeah, I did get. I did he he ran into a buzzsaw that was me and Billy <laughs> teaming up to bully one person. Oh, yeah. and it was. The guard dog. Sometimes you're the hammer. Sometimes you're the nail, dude. <laughs> Last true. night I was the nail. They got you. Yeah, they got what me. What kind of dude. stuff were they saying? It was just freaking. We don't uh, need to talk. Just about junk. It. Class A psyop, dude. Was it really? Yeah, I fell. <coughs> Did it work? Or were you? It was were you a psyop that he fell right into. Yeah. Did yeah. you really? I wasn't prepared. I thought I was amongst friends, dude. True he thought that. he was amongst friends, and he uh, he wanted to show us somebody on. We asked for him to show us somebody on Instagram. Sure. I think you probably know. I'm aware. So he finally was like, all right, fine. Because we were like, dude, what the heck? First first mistake. It's not a big deal. Gave in to the, you, they, <laughs> they did the friendly <laughs> angle on you. Yeah, me, <laughs> oh, dude, no. me and Billy sitting on a bench together. Like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he gave it, we were both like, ah. Oh, they friendly you. Yeah. Oh, good man. cop, good cop. And yeah. It that does a, it was like, dude, what the fuck's your problem? Yeah, we're dude, friends. We're fucking buds. <laughs> oh, no. Uh but yeah, there's one thing about Jamaica that I didn't like. It was a it was a very very nice resort. It was a vi- like sickest place I've been. But they it's just that thing where it's like a bunch of rich white people. Yeah. Then just black workers and like yeah white gloves. Yeah, dude. And like uniforms. Yeah, they get very slavey at those places. Yeah, I'm telling they you, they do. I mean, the place was designed like a, I've been there. The place is designed like a plantation. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, they're like, Do you want a butler? It's like, no. Stop. No, I feel stop, bad. Dude. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. They even the DR they do it and they the DRs get racist on the Haitians. 
They give the Haitians like the shit fucking jobs. You have to walk around and watch just like multi levels of fucking. Yeah, you get to watch the Hispanics <laughs> be mean to the Haitians. Yeah. But you better watch out. Every once in a while, those Haitians will get a little well, rowdy. We'll curse you too. Yeah, they'll curse you with a little Dude, voodoo. They were telling us they were like, "That's the one." There was a guy. They fucking hate them openly. So like these fucking like the guy working there would be like these fucking Haitians, man. They've been coming over here. Blah 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 blah, and he they, taking our derbs, taking our goddamn derbs. <laughs> yeah. And then he basically was like, he said something like, "Yeah, but you got to be careful because they will hex you." So that's the only reason they respect them is because of voodoo. The the, the looming axe <laughs> above their head, which is a voodoo curse. Yeah, I mean, you just got to keep the chickens and like bones away from them. If they, you see them collecting chickens and bones, you're like, "Yo, dude, we're what cool. the fuck? We're good? friends. Yo, I've you, been good to you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare go weed in the shade. All right, just fucking yeah. give me that chicken and bones. The Haitians, they're terrified." The, the Haitians will rise up like I'm rooting for Haiti as a country to rise up. They've risen up. They've they got it in them. They became a country. I know. They macheted a lot of people. Yeah, man. That was a real oversight by the French. What to be like? There was like you know we're boys, right? There were like <laughs> ten white dudes surrounded by a million <laughs> slaves, and they were like, "Let's give them machetes to work the yeah, sugar cane fields." True. These guys are never gonna. Yeah, they're probably like, "Yeah, we're boys, right?" Yeah, we're all good. Like I know. You can't like do a lot of the stuff you'd like to that do. That was scary stuff. I talked to you about that because the there's a podcast on it, Revolutions Podcast, and uh, it got scary. Yeah, dude. Those dudes when they started rising up, they would all have messiahs, and they would all go into like the jungle and do like witchcraft with like blood and sacrifice and shit, and then they'd go machete everybody. Yikes! Yeah, scary guys. That's terrifying. And then those peaceful Dominicans were just like, what the heck? What the hell? We're just trying to run an honest resort just here. Just trying to play baseball. <laughs> we're trying to play baseball. <laughs> Sammy Sosa. We're just training our 14-year-olds to be baseball stars. Yeah, but uh, I've run into this before. In New Orleans, mm-hmm. I went to a place that was like this. Yeah. It was very, like, just black dudes in, like, bow ties and gloves. It's not fun. They got to strike. How are you, sir? I'm just like, all right, man. Yeah. You all right? Are you all right? Yeah, like. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, man, I don't enjoy that whole setup, and it's it's uh, it needs to stop. And I realized I was also part of a running theme at this resort, which was a ugly, fat husband, <laughs> like a young, <laughs> hot woman. And I was like looking around, like, look at these pieces of shit. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, man. What the fuck happened? You're sharp, dude. You look sharp as hell. I look like fucking shit, dude. You look sharp as hell. What was <laughs> I'm it? I'm having a rough time. What were the drinks? What were the drinks? You know, a pwn up on some light beer. <laughs> no, they, well, they, I did have some red stripe lights. Yeah, but I then see. one day I decided the rum. Me and my boy Nikoi. Well, I shouldn't call him that. I apologize. Uh, me and my friend. Yeah, he was. That's your boy. That's your homie. Well, chill. What the hell, bro? I just came from a slave place. True. You can't call him that. Dude, what do you, I think it, they should just like everyone who works there should be dressed like the Baja man and just be in full that would be vibe, much more fun. full vibe mode. It's like, would be, who the, every time you walk yes. out, you're just like, fuck yeah, dude. They they dude. are in vibe mode. They have to be nice to you. Really? It's definitely part of their job. They all wave to you and say hello. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, that's all. Like that's everywhere all. you're going, like, hello, how are you? Like while they're doing fucking yard work, yeah. they stop to be like, hey, they hit how's you with it the wagwan or is it kind of like. Sometimes the chill ones will hit you with like wagwan. Yeah. Nice. That makes me feel cool. <laughs> I was giving thumbs up a lot. That's actually kind of chill. I'm down with that. <laughs> Fucking some dude like hacking like a bush. He's like, <laughs> "How's your stay?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to get fucked up in a pool. You're like bro. George W, dude. He's fucking. Yeah, you're coming later. off the plane. He's fucking. Uh, one day got a little rowdy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and decided to ask the Jamaican guy what he likes, which was Guinness and Red Bull mixed. You were drinking rum and Red Bull, dude. Guinness and Red Bull. What the fuck, dude? Red Bull's stronger than Guinness. And I was like blacked out. And I was like, this is actually delicious. I'll have three of these. Threw up. Threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Threw up he drinks media. Guinness and Red Bull? <laughs> he hexed me. It, true. That was a Jamaican hex. He was like, this is what we all drink. And he was just like, here's two pieces of shit drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I had like three Red Bulls. I was so sick. Three dude. Guinness and Red Bulls? Yeah. That can't be a and thing. And then drink Ting and rum, dude. Ting is fucking ting nice. Ting is good. That's a great, isn't that like the grapefruit juice? Yeah. Rum and Ting is nice. Rum and Ting is good, but rum is a lot. Yeah. Drinking rum's tough. Yeah, that was my choice. That was my drink of choice. It, in college, we all used to drink. Yeah. You get like Admiral Nelson's. Yeah. Just garbage. But down there, they have like good rum. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, dude, Captain Morgan was the top of the pier for me. Yeah, I would try Sailor Jerry's and I'd be like, yeah, nothing was bad. as delicious as Captain Morgan. 
It's just vanilla extract. He got me one day. Nikoi. He got you again. He got me and my lady. Was this your point, man? There was a pool that had a bar in it. That was the one we okay. went to. So you're, your boys, do you hear the wet yes. bar? Yes. Fuck, I love that, dude. Just, yeah, just that's pissing. worth, that's just worth. Sit there and piss, get sunburned. Just like, <laughs> I'm telling you what, it's kind of worth all of the horrible historic overtones <laughs> of the place. It really so the owners like shittily swim up to a stool and pee and drink like a watered down pina colada. <laughs> it's, the best. it's all worth it. It's all worth it. We needed to do all that to get to there, to where someone could just swim. <laughs> we do need to thank our forefathers for all that they did to allow us fat whites to just, like just be in a pool. <laughs> I'm like, that's enough sun for the day. I'm going back yeah, to my going quarters. Back to my cabana. <laughs> what is this? Sushi? Mm, very nice. I. Uh, <laughs> so we were drinking, and he was like, the rum here is very good. You got to try the rum. Yeah. And then he poured five shots of rum. What? He was like, yeah, try this one. Taste this one. Try this one. Taste it. And I was just like, dude. What? Yeah, that was at like t- two in the afternoon. What was good with the spliffs? It was a rough day. That is a rough day. That was a bad day. What was good with the spliffs? I didn't smoke any pot. The weed down there is everyone thinks it's awesome. It's it's from what I've seen, what I've heard of down there, I should say. I've never been. It's been not the best. Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, not the best in terms of people who are spoiled to like. Yeah, I think American weed's probably pretty good. It is. It's all. It's yeah. also pretty. I've been trying to fight against the designer aspect of weed. Dude, I wanted to do a Spencer recently, and they're like, "This stuff's like thirty-seven." Per-. I'm like, "How is this? 30- this is crazy." Yeah, why would it be? It's too high, dude. Yeah, it's it's being amped up. Everyone it's like those mushrooms. That was some strong it's genetics. Like those hellish mushrooms. Those hellish mushrooms. Did you ever munch any of those? No, dude. Oh yeah, they got lost. <laughs> they got lost in the I sauce. They got lost in the sauce. I ratted you out on one of those on uh, O'Connor's podcast. Fair enough. It's so funny. I put it. I hit them in a box of crackers. It's a safe place to fly with mushrooms. By the way, you put them in crackers. It's like they look just like them, as far as you know, the eye in the sky, you know. And uh, you know, let's just say we have little four-legged friends that sometimes get into things, dude. That's all I'll say about that. That's all we can say. Although it's an organic substance, so it's like you know, people you need said to the get... four-legged friend was totally fine, bro. The four-legged friends gotten into weed before, and that destabilizes four-legged <laughs> friends. Like I'm talking like because I was like, oh my god. Yeah. He was just pumped. <laughs> he was just pumped. And then it, but it, it was too pumped to where it was suspicious. To where it was like nine, usually nine o'clock, he's curled up ready to chill. Yeah. If I walked by him, it was full pounce, laying like kind of like, ah, and I was like, I'm going to take these guys for a walk. And I, t- I took him to a field for like an hour. Yeah. And just let I him. I didn't know both of the four legged friends got it. Just one. Yes. Just one. At least I, I assume just one. Oh, yep. My other four legged friend, it. my other four legged friend's a little more finicky with what they eat. But this other four-legged friend will eat anything, and he got a taste of some fucking penis envies. Yeah. And he, he ate some mushrooms. <laughs> dude, it was nothing to I mean, you got to think animals in the wild just munch shit all the time. Yeah. So, and there's also, there's a lot of, I've seen Planet Earth where they, uh, like, lizards and shit will, like, lick stuff that, may, they'll, like, tr- like bears will, yeah, like, yeah. trip out. They do it on purpose. I mean, maybe they don't know what they're doing. But it's not, you know, an altered state. Yeah. I don't know why people are so weird about dogs in altered states. <laughs> I don't know why, like, wives are such jerks about dogs in altered states. <laughs> <laughs> it's an animal, dude. I wish wives would get over the fact that sometimes our four-legged friends well, our wives still want to see color. Dude, I mean, he was so <laughs> fuck. Like, I'd walk by him, and he would be laying there and just go, boom, play position. I'm like, dude, yeah, that- chill, man. Chill. And it was like, no chill. Oh, man. So I took him out to the field, and we just ran. We just ran around. It was actually a really fun time. It's awesome. Tired him out. Then I made a little fucking bed for him, and I was like, "Brother, go to bed." Yes. And he just pa- I slept. You it. I had to, bro. You, you guided him. I, I walked downstairs and was just like, "Fuck!" He's like, "What?" And I was like, uh, "Jackson ate my crackers." <laughs> you, you have you have become Mr. Marsh from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> you really have. Like, oh, Jackson ate my crackers. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> I was like, "Shit, fuck!" Uh. <clears throat> yeah, man, that was uh, I was trying to keep that to under the belt, but the uh, yeah, he, that's he, all right. It's it's nothing. He can't get. In it's an organic it. substance. It's a fun story. It's, it's a, that's totally false. We're making it up. Of course, jokes for the she's pod. She's gonna buy that. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She knows. Dot, she's a dot connector, bro. She's gonna be that's like, not hard to connect. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear what happened here. <laughs> we can get rid of that if you want to avoid that. No, man, let it play. Yeah, it's good airtime. That's just gonna be a fight in like a week, <sighs> out of nowhere. I'd rather fight about that than whatever I don't know. We'll fight about later. So it's yes. like, let me be prepared. Yeah, you, I'll yeah, build up true. some arguments. I'll build up a defense. You know. So yeah, dude, I feel uh, I feel good. 
Yeah, we are. This podcast isn't a good place, bro. <laughs> Besides the fucking bullshit, dude. I forgot about that. You I forgot we got assailed by a cyber criminal. Yeah. A Is cyber that exactly fraud. what happened? It, dude, it has to be, man. Did you send that to our inside man at I, the I, YouTube? I, dude, I fucked up. I sent it, but I think I just sent it to you. Yeah, I think so, too. We have a strong case for copyright fraud. Someone's doing fraudulent claims against us, so we have a <laughs> strong case. I think we got to get a lawyer, though. Shout out to Ryan Long. He was quick to be like, here's what you got to do. He's great, bro. Hooked it up. He's an elite bro. But He's a great bro. One of the, one of the pieces of advice he had was tweet at my think, my YouTube or whatever. I think they did do a goddamn Dude, thing. As soon as I was like, hey, YouTube, help out me and my friend Matt. Like every comment was like, yeah, you fucking Jews, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. This is Stop. This isn't helping. <laughs> Yo, dude, I've been on my Twitter. I heard you've been, been you've been tweet. active, dude. You've been active. I'm active on Twitter now. Yeah, dude, that's what's up. Yeah. I like nice. I like the format of just tweet and delete instantly. Dude, you got to delete it. I Treating it like Snapchat fucking rules. So then you can just be like... <laughs> fucking tweet that yeah talking about it? except one guy was just saving all of them of course dude <laughs> that jerk it's not one guy there's a, there's a couple of probably characters doing that <sighs> last night <laughs> what iphone 12 dude iphone 12 was so funny i deleted all those like a coward every once in a while billy will guide me on what to say that, when billy gets a hold of oh, your social media dude. it's so funny he's got a lot of pent-up social media energy too because he's been fighting his demons last night he made me tweet like like why not me or something, something like that what? like why not me if something like that with like emojis and then the next one was like a picture of his phone it was like iphone 12 like the emoji with like swirly eyes and i started getting texts from people that were like are you, okay? are you all right is everything okay you're spiraling you're having fun dude i thought it was funny don't they get the bit some people do but a lot of them don't True. like dude that that one i posted that tiger which, oh, oh, the I'm, tiger was the best. Tiger on my Instagram. And people truly. When you were like, you find out who your real friends are during your darkest periods. I went through my darkest time alone. So sorry if I act like I don't need your help. But thank you to the select few that stood by me and helped me find the courage to pick myself back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of a tiger. I mean, if you don't know. <laughs> it was like Tom Green commented, like, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I dude, imagine how sick it would be. Because that is just like a, a wave of being you can be on where you just like see that quote and you're like, fuck yeah, dude. And you toss it out and you're like, I fully not ironically stand behind this 100%. Yeah. It's nice. That rules, dude. Yeah. Fucking rules. You would like Tom Green. Tom Green. You would like good. what he's up to. What's he up to? He just took his dog in a van and went fucking chilling in the desert. What? Yeah, bro. He needs your flute. He pulled. The, he picked up the bug out bag yeah. and took off. Yeah, yeah. Tom Green fucking rules. So they're just chilling in the desert in a van. They were. I don't know. I don't know if they are still, but true. You would have liked it. He would yeah. go live, just him and his dog chilling. Yeah, that kind of rules. That does rule. I'm just see that in your future. <laughs> I'm scared of van life, dude. I don't want Brittany to freak out and kill me. <laughs> you can get killed doing van life by your uh, romantic partner. You will get killed. You might. Almost always. If you van life long enough, somebody dies. True that. You can't. That's not a sustainable. Van life? Van life? The urge to murder is probably so strong. It's like, yeah, me and my wife are going to drive cross country and live in a van. It's like, dude, are you (laughs) trying to kill your wife? Yeah. Oh, that's the only viable alternative. Turn around. Turn around. You ever stay in a hotel for more than two days with a woman? Yeah. It's just like, I wish I could go to a different room. That's why they fucking make you, you can only open the windows for like four inches. <laughs> every dude, every tough. single time I open them, I'm like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, man, dude, the, uh, so yeah, Jamrock was sick. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Vacation with a lady. Vacation with a lady. Ooh, la, la. I'll say this. I don't look, you don't have to talk. You don't have to step on these grounds, but dude, when I go, when you go to vacation with a woman, they step it up, bro. When you they go to vacation with a girl, it's, it's. It's pie time. It's fucking <laughs> fun time, dude. And, you you know, again, especially when you're dating for a long time, certain things go up on the top level of the shelf. And, you know, it's just, they don't want to reach up and grab them. You go on vacation and it's just the smorgasbord, full smorgasbord. Yes. Yeah. To the point where it's almost you're kind of like, like, I could farm coconuts, bro. Let's stay yeah. down here. Let's stay down here. I could fucking, if I live in the DR, I can touch the A. <laughs> You can get the Amy. <laughs> I can get the Amy. The Amy. 
Dude, now you can work remote. There's so many people now working remote in the DR and like just other do places. Zoom just comedy so, shows. Just so you can get the Amy, dude. Get like 10 bucks, <laughs> do a Zoom comedy show, just stay in the DR. <laughs> and just get Amy, dude. All day. <laughs> get Amy. And then eventually the, the polls shift. <laughs> The polls. <laughs> Eventually, the polls would shift where you wouldn't get the Amy because that would become home. And then you come back to America and they, then you're getting Amy in the States. <laughs> you just need you need to move. Yeah, dude, you got to find where you got to. You're like a migrating animal. Yeah. <laughs> you got to find the water holes. You got to constantly go to where the Amy is. The Amy migrates, dude. The Amy does migrate. The Amy needs to be somewhere special. I know. God. That's evolutionary, dude. If if you're a woman, you that's like your ace of spades. You can't just be busting out the Amy everywhere. The Amy, <laughs> you got to be like some girls bust the Amy out. <laughs> they're just useless. They must have grown. <laughs> they must have grown up in lush environments where there was plenty of like wildlife. Because if you grew up amongst scarcity, you guard the Amy. Because you're you like, to, oh you no 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 no. I need the I need this. This is my ticket out of here. Yeah, dude, we gotta find we gotta find the Amy is their ticket to lush environments. Uh, the Amy for yes. sure, dude, for sure. It's their golden ticket. That's a travel agent, dude. It's the That's chocolate the- factory. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, just let it's like even if you're, it's so powerful. <laughs> hey. All, I, I'm not even one of those guys. It's like I demand butt sex. Just let my thumb touch it, bro. Yeah, I, let the thumb, let the thumb grace the ante, dude. I'm yes. done. That's the eject button. If I touch the ante, done. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> a nice way to hit the eject button. It's the sometimes best. if you can't crumb. Oh, it's the ultimate man, way. I gotta get out of this. That's why it's there, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's there strictly for heterosexual men to touch with their thumb. That's it. <laughs> Guard dog, you like touching the Amy? Um, if I could be honest with you guys, I just did mere hours ago. Well, we touched. What the fuck? What the Wash hell? Your damn not my, not my age. Someone else's. Butt. <laughs> I didn't get you my butt touched. No, no. <laughs> That'll also. That's also the eject button. I know. Yeah, that's built in on you. About. If you have no any to touch, you are blessed with your own any if you have to true, hit the eject true, button. Self-eject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no darker period in your life than experimenting with your any and it's all over and you just go. <sighs> You've experimented with your any? <laughs> I've hit the eject button. Never Not whacking never, off. You fingered your own butt. No, no, I didn't finger my butt. I've touched literally touched the button. I didn't like jam. I've never jammed my finger up my butt. So while whacking off, you just you did one of those? I was touching the perineum. And then you just kind of go, what's this any all about? And you just, you're done and you go, I don't want that in my life, dude. Yeah. I was at, I stood at the threshold of the <laughs> and You sit on your roof. <laughs> <laughs> just the Coco Pelly, dude. But yeah, dude, the, uh, yeah. What would be, do you have any songs that would be appropriate for touching your own any in the post, the guilt you might feel? I would stay towards the bottom of the scale for sure. I wouldn't go up high at all. No. I would just fucking. <laughs> what have I done? I, I would stay on those three notes. This is more for after you touch Bay's Annie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this thing was built. The first three notes you play after you touch your Annie. The top three notes if you touch Bay's Annie. <laughs> oh. I'm excited for you to hit that. Is that hash you're going to smoke out of it? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, yes. Is that strong? Stronger, stronger than weed, than but weed. it's not. It's it's dry sift, so it's not like if it was bubble. Then we'd have to have you know. Yeah, I might have to have someone in white gloves come pick me up, dude. If it was <laughs> bubble, but <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, one day we got fucked up. There's we became like almost like swingers. Oh we just yeah, wait at this bar, and then if another couple came, we'd be like, "Where are you guys from?" You want Sick. vacation friends? Yeah, vacation friends. We did make a vacation friend family. Really? Yes, it was a good time. You. Got- well, how big? How much of a family? What was the setup? It was a a man and his woman and their two kids. Oh, nice! It was very fun. It's good swinging. Good time. That's good swinging. It was great swinging. <laughs> <laughs> and the man opened up like Did a he? flower, dude. He was he Canadian? No, he was a black fellow from okay. America. Nice, which ruled. Nice. That helped us. True. That helped us feel a little less like yeah. colonizers. Sure, yeah. You know, I let him boss around the Jamaicans. Well. I'm sure he probably fucking, fucking get us stuff. That's like a step down from the African, like the Caribbean dudes are like a intermediary step between yes. African dudes and American black dudes. There's beefs, dude. I mean, literally. Yeah, true. That's how that worked. But, but yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how it's, yeah. sadly. No, I hear what you're saying. Sadly. But yeah, that's the, uh, there's, so they, how do you feel about fucking, was he Boston or was he just, was he very. I don't think he drank that much and he did that day. 
He was drinking with us. Really? He got loose. And what? it was very funny. God, that's got to be he so He opened fun. up to us about getting like a DUI. Like within like 10 minutes. Everyone can get one, dude. That's what I said to him. I don't like, feel ashamed Don't at all. feel bad. Everyone can get one. Two, you got to start asking questions. Yeah. Everyone can get one DUI. And then his son was like, he never talks this much. I was like, he's How old's the boy? That boy was probably 12. Really? That's a good age. Yeah. That's a great age for a son. Yeah, I don't think he's ever seen his dad hammered like this. His really? dad was fucked up. And then his, Did you have any in. role in this, his of state? Course, of course I did. <laughs> of course. They were like, oh, we're going to get out of here. I was like, dude, have one more. Come on, man. You got him hammered. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yes. He got sick, too. Did he? I saw him the next day at breakfast. How was he feeling? He, he had gotten very sick. He was bad. What I was sipping on? I was hammered, and I was like, damn, that guy's fucked up. Really? Yeah. He, they went and got a Bluetooth speaker. And like, while he was carrying Strong it, move. While he was carrying it back, he just stood there. It was like <laughs> dancing. And he everyone, was recharging and himself. And everyone was like, bring it into the pool. And he just wouldn't listen. And just <laughs> He had to recharge himself. Yeah. It was wonderful. And what, he, what was he jamming no, on? We were listening to some cool rap. Nice. Yeah. We let Nikoi pick some. Hell yeah. Like, what do you like? Was Nico- like Drake. Really? Like, Bro, you're telling me. Dude, they, uh, I think like mixes, like DJ mixes originated in Jamaica. Really? Having like a seven song mix that you blend together. I believe that originated in Jamaica. So Jamaica's cool. Dude, Jamaica fucking rules. Although, the, yeah, the white people bothered the fuck out of me. What were they, they up were to? embarrassing. What were they up to? There Showing was like a their band. Ass? There was like a nice outdoor dinner area we were eating at and there was like these three jamaican dudes that were just playing sick music yeah and though they were like do you have any requests what do you want and this lady was like play bob marley and they were like oh of course yeah uh, so, yeah that's one of the and then the when the white people would respond in patois what? and that annoyed the fuck out of me what like the Jamaican guys were teaching them how to say like Irie. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay, man, Irie. All right. That's cool. No, you have to go hit a full boom a clap. Like boom a clap. I'm not yeah, I, I, started, I stood up. We don't need no lessons on this team, dude. Yeah. I showed them Chet. <laughs> What'd he say? They were like, what the fuck is this? I was like, Chet Hanks, dude. He's the <laughs> Tom best. Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. They didn't know Tom Hanks. What? Good for them. Thank God he's never uh, made his way down there. <laughs> <laughs> that pedophile that might be the rights my favorite aspect of their political philosophy right now is to call every single person a pedophile <laughs> and be like fucking pedophiles yeah. dude. I really enjoy that it's very funny to be like hey, Tom Hanks pedophile mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> that must suck so bad you know because the left mischaracterizes people and that's no fun when you're like hey man that's not yeah, what racist, I am racist all that but, they but get the right the answer pedo, dude. everybody bro. was like oh you think being called racist is bad yeah. <laughs> you fuck kids yeah. <laughs> it's like wait no I don't what it's like yeah that's how this works it's like yeah it's like you say you like kids it's like, well, I, 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 yeah everyone likes kids it's like ah, pedophile pedophile dude fuck fuck yeah I was actually on the way here I was listening to some cool shit you would have liked what are you listening on I unplugged my iPhone and it just happened to be on some type of like rapture religious channel. It was awesome. That is pretty tight. We need to stop worrying about global warming, dude. That's earth worship. True that. That's very anti biblical. That's actually true. The world government, which is what the earth worshipers want. Yeah. Very anti biblical. Oh, big time, dude. The Antichrist is coming. Yeah. Yeah, man. Give unto Caesar's what is Caesar, dude. But yep. Caesar's trying to grab everything. And it's like, no, no, no. Uh-huh. It's coming, bro. But yeah, dude, we were down having a nice time in Florida where we all bought our flutes and stuff. Well, my, you know, mine came from High Spirits. But uh, we are having a- Yours was from white people, right? Again, um, the one guy, the main person there, I believe, is a, a man. Of, he's a cauca- caucasoid. Caucasoid, yeah. Caucasoid. <laughs> um, but again, I think they, I would imagine they work hand in hand with, uh, with artists of all types. They're music first. They're not really so much on optics. They're music first. So, you know. I would imagine they have some sort of program, although my next flute probably will be from uh, Blue Bear Flutes. That dude fucking... I've been watching a lot of his videos. Dude, there's a video where he... he he's a flute maker, a native. He claims that he was he was playing one time, fell asleep, continued to play while he was asleep, and then like when he came to... He ever, just was like, dude. snored into a flute. <laughs> you can put a flute in a horse's nose. And it'll... <laughs> he was like, guys, I they told me I passed out and I was sleeping, but like I was sitting up and I like came to... And what I are all these weird the flexes time. all these dudes do? I mean, dude, he's just telling... This is why you like this shit. What are you talking you about, You love dude? these types of like, <laughs> like dickheaded flexes. <laughs> what are you... It's, not, you're like, it's not dickhead. 
bro. I just have this like spirituality and uh, dude. If you, you, I'll sit up on the roof and just play. You don't understand this instrument, dude. This instrument, I'm telling you. First of all, how do you, you play with eyes closed or eyes open? With what? The flute. Your eyes should be closed when you play this. Your I eyes always close my eyes closed. Of course, and when your eyes are closed, dude. You, I mean, I, I'm with the guy. I haven't fallen asleep yet, but you do go other places, dude. You play the thing and like four minutes go by like in a second. It's fucking sick. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't come at me. I'm not coming at you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't attack my music. <laughs> I'm not attacking you. But I will say this. That is right up your alley. What? Just fucking music? Yeah, for sure. No, I love just making music. Guy, like a guy, Folklore? Make, a guy making a YouTube video and being like, I fell asleep and just kept playing. Dude. I am a sucker and for like I am a sucker like, for a... Uh, that's cool. What's that word? Apocryphal? I'm a sucker for apocryphal tales. They're like taking it. They're like wildly exaggerated stories that are just taken to be true because they like sound so cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this dude claims. You know, look, I don't. It, it, you got you can take it up with the owner of Blue Bear Flutes, but uh, maybe I will. His advice is pretty solid because he's like, this is a trick to playing the flute, and really, it's like before you play, you close your eyes and you breathe and you start just picturing a thing, and then you try to play that thing. So, what do you mean, like picture like your love for your child? Love for your podcast partner. I don't know. Just like stuff. <laughs> would you play me a song that made you think of love of me? Oh, yeah. I could play it. I mean, I could play it. What would that sound like? <laughs> what were you thinking about? Huh? What were you thinking about? Thinking about you, dude. <laughs> Did you hear when I went up high? I was like, Duh -duh 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 -duh. yeah. Same about you. It was very nice. Thank you. I was like, you know how like if Billy gets a hold of my social media, people are like, are you all right? I get texts about you. <laughs> <laughs> when you started going on Instagram, people are like, is he good? Is he all right? And I'm like, yeah, dude. This is this is the best he's been. <laughs> this is good. Easily, dude. Easily the best. Yeah, dude, dude. I don't. I, it is for me. It is very, very fun to go live and hit a Native American yeah, flute. Of course, but yeah, I, I like. I gotta go back to what I was uh, getting drunk on live, dude. You that was the funniest shit in the world. I only did it like twice. Getting drunk on live and then have, featuring Big Phil on there was the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. Oh, dude, I got in a battle with some family members on Thanksgiving. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it was battle. They ran the was it bus all v bus all or was it? It was me and my lady. Who's mm -hmm. a buzzsaw? She's a buzzsaw. Dude, Wait, couple, so couple drinks. We're talking Gutfeld. We're talking Gutfeld. She's, she's she all turns into a, Me and her turn into two Gutfelds <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> and these fucking dumb liberals were trying to come at us. What? We were both sitting there like, yeah, right. Who was so there were some libs? There were some libs. There were in some the libs in my family. All Thanksgiving, no politics. And then we got back to my parents' house, had a couple cocktails. Yeah. And that's when it started. Then the vaccine talk started. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good vaccine talk. Yeah. They want the mandates. They want the federal government mandating it. Shit. And I was like, bro, we can't do that. You got to hop on to Hoss's Substack. Why? Hoss has, a, Hoss has a Substack where he lays out perfect little arguments against when people hit you with it, you read it, and you're just like, perfect. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like one minute. They're like little, quick little things. Hmm. Hoss is just crunching numbers. They have bro. theirs. Yeah, MSNBC the, and the, CNN give them their response. Did you see well. that thing on The View? When they had the, the lady, who, so there's apparently a lady God who God damn, used, I got a bit of a cough. You got a cough? Could be COVID. Bro, I'm, I, I hate, I don't want to be cavalier about it, but it's I'm at the point where I'm like, I, I had to have been exposed to it by now. Yeah. Had to have been exposed to it. Not everything links up to every, you know, I have a weird When I was body. at Rogies, I had been exposed to it. Yeah, dude, you're, yeah. you're fucking, you have immunity. I'd love to see my antibodies. I might not have I any got, antibodies. Dude, I, got a, I had thick antibodies. You had some good bands. Yes. I might have, I might just be no antibodies at all. It might just completely pass through me. There's a decent chance. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't, you know. But I did apparently though, I know someone who just got it and got, they were like, it fucking crushed. Really? Me. They got fucked. Yeah. I'm so. sure if I get it again, I'll get the business. No, nah, you probably I got lucky with the first one. No, nah, dude, you probably, it would, I mean, according to everything else, it should be less severe. You have natural antibodies. You have the mark of the beast. The vaccine. You have the mark of the beast. I do have the mark of the beast. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You want to make kidding, fun of me bro. for getting a vaccine? I'm kidding. No. That's not spiritual of you. I'm kidding, dude. To criticize your friends? It's a joke, dude. In a spiritual circle, you would joke about stuff like that. Obviously, you know it doesn't matter. 
Either way, this is the fucking physical realm. I'm not going to get hung up on the it. The Antichrist way. is coming. Nah, dude. Oh, dude, this is dude, this is actually what you reminded me of. So we're in Florida. We're down there in Florida. And uh, we're having a nice time, dude. There's a band playing like early 90s hits. Some guy nice. in long hair was playing like Guns N' Roses and shit. That's full, Florida. Three-piece band, Power Trio, which you know you know me. And you know I love Power Trio. Yes. So there's Power Trio. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, waiting to see your face go. <laughs> so they're jam- they're fucking killing it, dude. It was awesome. And then these guys come, same thing of like, repent now or go to hell. Yes. So all these families are having a fun time. And they're like, nice, man. And all of a sudden, they're just like, you will go to hell. After- yeah. And you're watching everyone. I just watched everyone's face go like. I forgot we die. Like, <laughs> fuck. Everyone's like grabbing their kids. Yeah. Just like. A you, power trio banging Guns N' Roses. You're like, I might never die. Oh, for Death sure. Death is not real. Oh, dude. It, it was time stopped. Everyone's yeah. having fun. You know, it's like everyone's dancing, having a good time. Kids are dancing. And like, people were just like, sinners repent. You're going to hell. The world's ending. And everyone's just like, like the dudes would be like. Because you can't like, I guess you don't want to yeah. punch them in the face. But the like, dudes would kind of look at them like, just shut the fuck up, dude. Stop talking about hell right now. Yeah. Don't what the fuck's your hell? Dude, they're, dudes would like perk up and be like. Fucking, I'm not going to fucking hell, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Those guys are the best, though. But it was wholesome. I, I do support them. We're having wholesome fun. It wasn't like, if it was like a porn convention, yeah. But like, we're just sitting, people were sitting there with their kids watching music. And they're like, devils, go to hell. Yeah. And they're like, dude, come off of it, man. They're fun, though. It is fun. It was a fun, it was very fun to watch the music sound and that, that the way everyone's interacting with that. And then like, apocalyptic messaging. And watch people like those two worlds. They, they, they collided for a second. Everyone was just like, in the middle, it was like, I used to love her. Playing that guns and ro- Dude, it was so fucking funny to watch dudes flex like, fuck you, dude. You're going to hell. Yeah. But yeah, it was. Uh, I liked them when they were at Drexel. When we would get to see uh, those boys. Th- that was like, they were the real. Dude. They were the those guys were coming Westboro down boys. being like, you're gay. Yeah. Yeah, those dudes were wicked. People would try to talk shit and be like, actually, we're allowed to do whatever we want. They'd be like, slut. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone would be like, yo. <laughs> those dudes did crush. Yeah. Those they dudes, crushed me. They knew my weakness. They hit you with Notre yeah, Dame like, sucks. Notre Dame sucks. And I was like, whoa, dude. Fuck, dude. What, guy, is, what is this magic, dude? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty wicked. He knew I was a papist. He did. That's why he was mad. Yeah, true. He saw the Notre Dame and he was like, fucking papist. Those guys pedophile. hate popes. Yeah. Do they, Westboro Baptist hates his yeah. pope? Makes sense. I can see that. The Pope, gay guys. Who else, who else is on their shit list? I think it's just Jews. Pope and, Jews. Oh, big Westboro time. Baptist? Yeah. Interesting. They killed Jesus, according to the Westboro Baptist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's beef, you know. Well, they, <laughs> And they denied they, the Messiah. Biblically, no, they, they know. He wasn't in Romania. I mean, it's just a historical fact. So, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, that's you could say that. Pontius Pilate didn't want to do it. Yeah. He's like, What's, what What? problem do you have with this man? Yeah. And they're all and they're just like, like yes. kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. And Punch Bob was like, yeah, I don't care. Kill I mean, him. I'm in a good place in my life. I've totally forgiven the Jews for killing Jesus. I'm like totally over it now. Yeah. I mean, for you know, when I was like six, seven, eight, nine, I was like genuinely like, what the fuck? Pissed. Yeah, we would get that pamphlet. Remember when we do Stations of the Cross? Yeah, dude. And then one of the pictures was like, but the Jews said, crucify him. Yeah, crucify dude. him. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I've I've like researched this not long ago. About, I was like, what's like the, because a lot of religions have like a mystical sect and apparently Jews do have the Kabbalah, but I was trying to look up like, what is the actual, like, what's the point of it? What's the end? Usually there's a, a state you're trying to reach. And I'm like, I was looking into like Jewish spirituality and there's a big problem in Judaism right now. We're like, and this, I was reading this, a Jewish person was writing this saying like, we don't have really a real spiritual tradition. Yeah. But it's like, it's kind of Christian. If you want to be spiritual as a Jewish person, it's like Christianity kind of like yeah. came in and was like. Here's the fucking kind of took the sauce. <coughs> Can we take a pause first? Take a pause. I need a pause here. Take a pause. I have a fucking dang gum thing in my throat. To get a dang gum thing out. God damn it. So I can say, <laughs> oh my god, Ugh, get some fresh air in here. That's actually really nice. <laughs> that was really nice. We're back. We back, dude. Sorry, we back I got on. A bit of a frog in my throat. That happens, man. It's because I was hitting a vape yesterday. You're hitting the vape. Yeah. And you, what time did you go to bed? Right now, I just started talking. And my throat hurts. What? What time oh, did you go to fuck. bed? I got cough drops in my bag. If you want one. Yes, please. All right. 
Uh, we went to bed. We probably left there at like two. I can't believe Billy was still there. Yeah. What? Yeah. Not boozing, not partying, but just being a jerk. He wasn't boozing? No. No, he didn't drink at all. Spud was drinking. You were having too much. You were banged up. That was fun to see. Thank you very much, Matthew. Of course, bro. Oh, of course. Fuck. What? <laughs> Wait, For real, can dude. I have more stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's careful, though. That's that's high menthol. I don't know how you guys do cough drops. I go high menthol. Do I hit Brittany with that all the time, dude? Pisses her. <laughs> I'm like, this is... I always read the grams. I'm like, this is five more milligrams of menthol than usual. Like, just, just so you know. She goes, you stop. I love pissing her off when she's in a bad mood. She's like, I'm really in a bad mood right now. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, so uh, it's pretty nice. Look at that sky. Dude, it's so fun yeah. to do that. Like, look how beautiful the sky is. Yeah, I get mad. You stop. I was, I've been with my lady for a long period of time. Just Two now. weeks. Yeah. Of like kind of nonstop. Yeah. No real fights. That's good. Although one night, oh, dude, it was so funny. Every once in a while, she'll try to fight. And really? she, had no, she had nothing. We were at like a five star resort. I was spending a million dollars on this up. fucking thing. Dude, that text was killing me. I blew it. I blew it. Dude, I fucked up. This place is the most expensive place I've ever been. I'm, just laughing. I'm not going to eat for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Dude, we got our first fucking tab back. It was like $250 for like two cheeseburgers. Jeez. I, yeah, they got me. Yeah, anyway. At least I'm belly, I'm belly not hungry, though, dude. No, my, my belly been bundle. <laughs> fucking belly, belly hungry, full, dude. dude. I'm belly hungry. But, uh. <laughs> that's feed, that feed the Utes, dude. In the middle, yo, big shout out to them Utes. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> uh, we're just sitting there. We started talking about Brian Laundrie and the girl he killed in the van. Okay, yeah. And then out of nowhere, she just goes, you don't even know how old Brian Laundrie was. And I was like, what's what? that got to do with it? <laughs> she stormed off <laughs> back to the room. <laughs> what? And Wait, was what was like, the argument, though? There was no argument. Well, we were in the middle of just talking about it and, yeah. like, laughing. Yeah. We were having a good, the whole thing was good. Sure. And then out of nowhere, she was just like. <sighs> she turned on you. She turned, she bucked so hard, but she <laughs> didn't have anything to be mad at. Sure. So she just goes, you don't even know how old Brian Laundry was. <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? What are you doing? And she's like, I'm going to my room. <laughs> and she started walking away. And I was like, why are you do- What are you doing? Dude, what is this? What are you even? You- that's what you're mad at? I didn't know how old Brian Laundry was. I assume he's in his 30s. Yeah. Did you look it up? I guess he was the same age as her or s- close. He was young. Okay. Something like that. He was That guy wasn't in his 30s? I, maybe he was. Maybe my woman. You're totally- telling me that guy, that guy must be a relationship prodigy to be that wise and that young. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And I gotta stop making fun of the dude who murdered his girlfriend yeah. in van life. And killed himself in a swamp. No, no, he's 24. He killed himself. He's twenty four. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, that was. Yeah, yeah. People usually save that for like the the, the twilight of their years. Yeah. Plotted out. That's that's a, a problem. He did he was it. A ute. He tried to do it too early. You gotta wait if you want to kill. If you want to kill your wife, dude, you gotta wait. Them wanna kill you them. You gotta gal. wait, man. But you gotta uh, do well time. She realized what she had done because I was like, you can't be mad at me. Yeah. Like while she was walking away, I was like, this isn't nice. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't nice. I hit her with one of those. And she turned around. She was like, actually, I just wanted to get my vape. I was like, so that's how you did it? You fucking psycho? So it's nicotine cravings. Yeah. Eh, it's nicotine cravings, dude. I know. But she, instead of just being like, hey, I want to go get my vape, which would have been, I would have been like, oh, great. Go get yeah, it. Yeah. Well, you didn't have to get psyched. So I was like, you don't even know how old Brian Laundry was. <laughs> I'm out of here. It was the craziest move I've ever seen. Dude, it is impressive the levels to which they can like mentally dodge and weave to psyop. They can play on like ninety levels, dude. It's insane. Yeah, but it's dumb. It's always dumb. It stinks for sure. But it's they just so know eff- they can get away with it. I know, but it's so effective. I mean, yeah, like, all spaz. Dude, you can be talking and they'll hit you with like something that's not even true from like three months ago that you're like, I can't even I can't disprove this. Yeah. It's like you've gone beyond the limits of my memory and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's not right. That is insane. It's like, no, you said you were going to, and it's like, I never, I don't remember. Yeah. And you're like, did I say, you're like, fuck. It's like, that's not the fucking you point. You don't know how old Brian Laundry is. I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you mad at? <laughs> but it was, it was funny. Cause like literally like the sun was setting. We were at an outside, like it's I mean, beautiful. it was beautiful. It's as beautiful on as On the beach. We were on the beach. It's 
beautiful as possible. And I was like, oh, you're mad at me? You're mad right now. That's good. That's good. You That was instantly resolved in a friendly way. If you get into a deep fight in a tropical climate, that's the darkest. You could, That's like the darkest period of relationships possible. Yeah. Getting in like a... Vacation fights are... Oh. Vacation fights are tough stuff, I would take dude. my girl to Notre Dame every year, and I would get in a vicious fight with her. Yeah. Every game. That's tough. Every time I would take her to a Notre Dame game, I'd be blacked out. Yeah. There would be a battle. You're having a good they time. They like to fight you when you're hammered. Oh. Because they know you can't defend yourself. True. They know in the morning you can't be like, you were wrong. She's like, you were fucked up. You know yeah. what I mean? No. Yeah. I was like, I think I was right. Yeah. Like, I think I still had the threads of a correct argument. Yeah. I might have been repeating myself here and there, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. I might have been scream repeating myself <laughs> for three straight hours. <laughs> I yeah, told you man. I didn't want to walk that way. <laughs> I told you I'm not going to the bookstore. <laughs> that was one fight. I, I got in tons of. We went there. That was a nonstop fight until the game. Once the once you saw the magic of the kickoff, it was we had a good once time. Once you saw the Irish take the field, and there was an old couple I think that was trying to swing. There's an old couple that kept inviting, like, "Come stay at our house." And I was like, uh. "Yeah." It's like it's nice. I'm like. Eh. Let's, let's go back. Fuck us. Let's go back to the house. This You're guy's gonna, gonna fuck me in my. This mouth. guy's gonna fuck me in front of you, and I don't want to have it. Yeah, dude. I'm not in a position to defend myself right now. True. This guy's gonna kebab me, dude. And it's just gonna be you and his wife having a good old time. <laughs> you got bummed, dude. If I got if I got kebabed out in fucking Indiana, South Bend, South Bend, that'd be tough, dude. It's probably a nice house though. Probably. I feel like the houses out there are probably like very pleasant. Yeah. You know what I mean? South Bend's shitty, but yes. Around yeah. Notre Dame, definitely. South Bend's fucked up? The town, yeah. It's shitty. Is it like old coal miner it's town? Like, or? It's like Harrisburg. Oh, really? Yeah. I was surprised. I was shocked at the state of our capital. What do you mean? State of, the capital is in total disarray when I went to Harrisburg that one time. Dudes are getting pepper sprayed and shit. Oh, when we got pepper yeah. sprayed in the, in, on 2nd Street? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's just... That's yeah. our capital. I, I mean... That's what happens. Bro. I might start going around like those Jesus dudes like, this is our capital. They're there. This is... Who the they Jesus dudes? The, or the Jesus dudes go capital. to the capital. I might be a capital freak. Just be like, oh, have some respect for this capital. Yeah, just be like a civic doomer. It's going Do up that on Second like, Street. I might like when everyone's partying. Be like, do you even realize what types of laws are being passed? Only a football field away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You motherfucker! You don't even know. Oh, that dude. You don't even know how old Brian Laundry was. At least you was. kept it amicable. That's nice that you're able to be. I like, just, I've, it come was, on, it was so funny that I was not mad. Yeah, I was just like, wait, what? That's the key, dude. What? That's the absolute secret level of Westworld when you just go like, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not doing this. She's usually good about. It. One time she tried to fake cry, and I called her on it, and it was very funny. She That's started laughing. Dude, they have. It's crazy. They're wild. You can't. You. I'm telling you. You have like, wait, to. Wait. What do you do? You're crying right now. You have I to know them, you're not crying. You can't hold on the bro standards, dude. That's the number one mistake. It was people such make. a bad acting. Yeah. Cry. She was like, but and then you were mean to me. Yeah. And I was like, that's not real. That's not even. A thing. You're trying to cry right now. What are you doing? Oh, you pull. You pierce the veil. Sometimes you have to. Every once in a while, you try to call their bluff, and they're really crying. True. Like, you're not really crying. She's like, bah. dude. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. There's nothing worse. They're crying, babe. Girl, when babes cry, I, I instantly just, I'm done. I can't do anything. I'm just like, you win, fucking dumb, dumb. You have I to quit. leave the room. I quit. You walk That's out. That's the move. If they Get start crying, together. if they start crying, you say, I'm not going to be a part of this weakness. True. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, dude. I don't want that to spread to me. Yeah, or just a, maybe just a fucking soft kiss on the forehead and be like, Get yourself together. Bitch. Oh, dude, my dad cried it. Thanksgiving. Did he really? Yeah. What did he cry on? He's supposed to say grace. He's like, and thank you, God, for all these beautiful children in our lives. <laughs> I was like, Dad, you bitch. He's such a sweetheart. You bro. cried? Phil cried. Did it? Such he was a thinking about all his, his new grandchildren. And he just cried on it. That's a beautiful Thanksgiving, dude. He fucking he welled up. <laughs> what do you think of that, motherfucker? Did he ever cry for you guys? Probably. Also, he's in later years, so it's like you do get a lot more. Yeah, and he's got four four grandkids now. Yeah, and he, loves, he spends all day with them. You get pretty sensitive, yeah. bro. Got to give the old man, dude. I was thinking about that too. How everyone who has kids tries to talk everyone who doesn't have kids. But fuck, you guys have to have it. It's the yeah. craziest thing to try to sign people up for. It's dude, it's insanity to be like, when are you guys gonna spit a couple well, you out? You have a kid. It's like, I'm. It's, I'm telling you, it is fun. It is joyous. But to be like, the level people are like, how many people did it to me of like, yo, you guys have some kid. You do it and you're like, 
dude, they fucking cut my wife open, dude. Oh. It's like you're signing me up for what, bro? My, it's cr- it's it's it, that's just level one. My and friend then it's was just telling like, me about his lady. She got a C-section, mm-hmm. and while they were pulling the child out, the child had crapped <clears throat> in the wound. It got like deathly infected. Yeah, this woman had to have like several surgeries. She was like dying, and my yeah, friend dude. was the is the father. Just, he was just watching his bay. Like <clears throat> he said, he like walked into the room, and she was like green. Like yeah, laying man. there, like I need to go to the doctor, dude. It's like it's infected. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! We've made a lot of advances, but childbirth does take, even if it's only for a split second, it takes you back to like fucking ten thousand BC, where you're just like, this could go very wrong. Yeah, it's probably way scarier back then. But dude, it's, it's like wild back then. I mean, dude, yeah, dude, you would knock your bay up, and there was like a fucking coin the flip. Solid she was chance gonna make she's it. gonna die. Coin flip, dude. Yeah. Coin flip, and the cheering. It's also probably well, cheering just becomes legend. Obviously, if the woman's yes. like, look after him, it's like, well, this guy will become a great fucking yeah, he's gonna be awesome. Jedi or whatever. Or I'm gonna hold it against him his entire life. Okay, True, you killed my fucking wife. Killed my wife. Piece of shit. Fucking asshole. You yeah, but then you know. get to marry like your 14 year old cousin, so you know. You don't want to look. Jackpot. You don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, dude. True. <laughs> like, I just saw that babe at Thanksgiving. She's looking right. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that kid. You're at the festival. You're like that. You're scheming. You're like she might not make it through child. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a horrendous thing to say. What? Just scheming on your fucking just praying <laughs> that your wife doesn't survive childbirth. So you have sex with your young cousin. So you see a fourteen year old walk over. <laughs> You wait till your son comes of age to give him the ultimate high five, son. Yeah. I wanted to reach. I want you to reach age. So we can have this, but the high five. You hooked it up, dude. You fucking. I don't know if you know this. You didn't even know what you were doing. <laughs> you got your paw some good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, dude. dude. This thing obviously blocked me. That the, the sonic force field I left up here was not going to let that thing hit me. Yeah. That didn't even hit the metal, dude. It was actually like right in front of my nose, and I actually really? fell asleep for a second. <laughs> I'd like to kill you. I wish you would die you during die. childbirth. I might die in childbirth. And then I'll fuck Sean. I wonder how many dads died during childbirth. They were just like, oh. <laughs> probably, probably a lot of heart attacks. <laughs> true. But that's a very stressful thing. Don't dudes faint constantly. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Damn fucking Batemon, dude. Faint when they see blood. It's like, Ooh. You can't faint. That would suck, dude. If you're the wife. and get you're- dudes that faint when they see blood. Yeah, dude. They were the guys that weren't allowed to battle. I like when I'm bleeding severely. Do you really? Yeah. Sure, fuck. You come from probably glorious stock. If dude. I see like a huge cut, I'm like, yo. This you is saw wild. mine. Dude. You saw mine. Mine. Yeah. I was I gushing like blood. I know. It's the voice of reason, dude. You might be an. You might be a fucking banner carrier, dude. Just an ancient a warrior. Flag guy. An ancient <laughs> warrior. No, I'm saying <laughs> we're like going slow. You pick up the flag. <laughs> yeah. Once so the flag guy drops, everyone's like, "What the hell?" You probably grabbed it. Your ancestors probably yeah, grabbed guys. the flag. Dude, I heard some great stories about Ajax. What? Uh, he got a funny haircut when you guys were at Fogo de Chao. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> right, I don't know if we're allowed to a, go into you it. You can go into it. He had it's a Swedish, the funniest story. He had a Swedish haircut. He for some reason copped like a Swede boy. Yeah. It was insane. He a full Amish, like... Yeah, dude, he did the bowl. He bowled out. And can we say why, or is that bad? I have no idea why. What was the celebration for? Do you remember why you guys were at Fogo de Chao with him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was going... He had to do a bid, bro. <laughs> he, had to, he had to go to jail. So he got a Swedish we just, haircut. We just said no. And the Cuskers <laughs> took him to Fogo de Chao the night before jail. And they, he showed up with a fucking bowl cut. And they were like, what the fuck's that? He's like, I had to get a cut for jail. <laughs> That's the way to go in on the inside, bro. I know. Just to fully catch retarded. I forgot he got a bowl, bro. He got a fucking Amish bowl. He bowled up. He carry- ate as much steak as he could and went to jail <laughs> the next day. Also, free my other boy. My other boy's doing a, t- uh, a holiday DUI bid. Nice. Free my other boy. I'm trying to visit him, man. They're making it's a pain in the fucking ass. You know what's funny though is they said they offered him he could do weekends. No, nah, you know he was do, like, you nah, fuck it. Through, Let's bro. just get it right over with. He's like, I'll do 90 straight days. All the goats, dude. Yeah. Dude, dude, no, a year of weekends is hell. You do you just get it out. You fucking bang it out. I'm telling you, a year of weekends. I just talked to my boy who remember did Hambone? this. Hambone? Hambone was doing weekend jail. Dude, you remember it's that guy? fucking hell, man. Yeah, he'd have to drive. He'd be like, all right, fellas, I'll see you. And have to go drive himself to jail every weekend. Drive himself to jail for the weekend. And then just go sleep on a cot at like a county prison every weekend. I mean, if you show up for one weekend, clearly you learned your lesson. You can show up. You don't have to go. That's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah, dude. The Aston PD beat the fuck out of my boy. 
<laughs> he's an old man. <laughs> yeah, he's he, old. He's the one in. Yeah, he's my boy, dude. He's gone. I got. I'm fucking waiting. I'm trying to visit him. They give me a bunch of bullshit about getting on the list. It's fucking nonsense, dude. His lady tried to show up, and they're trying to say like her shoes were too revealing. Yeah, they don't want you wear. You know, the fellas will whack their penises off if they see some feet. Bro, it's fucking is bullshit. I mean, dude, Aston PD. I don't. You know, obviously, I I'm all I'm, I'm thin blue line, but dude, that that's not the way you conduct yourself as an officer. I saw the fu- I I saw on I saw the footage, bro. That's they not whooped how his you ass, go. bro. It's on camera. They whooped his fucking ass. An old man beat his ass. What was he doing? Fucking blacked out, dude. They, look, <laughs> blacked it, out. Driving. It's this. It was COVID. They're putting out the slushies. Nobody knew how strong those slushies were. And, you know, some of us have fucking diabetes. So you take like three of those down, you black out from like the whatever alcohol they put in them. The diabetes starts acting up. Next thing you know, you tire comes off the truck. You're driving down. Rodney Kinged. You're getting fucking kinged up, dude. Dude, that was the fair. To be fair, it's like you're 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 geese. You don't know what these slushies are all about. You sip three of them, you're blacked out. Everyone was blacking out. All the geezers yeah. were blacking out from slushies. That was a dark period, dude. When everyone was drinking outside with those slushies during COVID. I don't remember slushies. Dude, if you they had them where you could, you were what? No, no, no. You you could pull up and take. You could go to like to keep bars alive. Oh, the bars. Yes. They started doing slushies yes. to go, so you yes. could pull up, cop slush. And then just drive off. You don't think you're not going to take a sip. Who among us is not going to take a sip of a slushie until you get nobody's getting into their house no. and being like, finally, I can have this slushie. I got a sandwich on the way here. Where I is it? like, I should bring Where it. Where is it? it? I didn't start the car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I listened to. <laughs> that's why I was late. I apologize. Who among us, dude? I listened to biblical the me- revelations the nice. and ate a sandwich. Fuck yeah. It's a good, that's good listening. I literally, when they handed me the sandwich, I was like, I'm going to take this to Billy's. I got to eat it there. I got to get there on time. I sat down. I was like, I'm going to have a bite. I'm going to have a fucking bite. I'm not going to, yeah. I'm not going to make the, you know, because especially when like the lunch meat makes the roll all yeah, kind of wet. Yeah, you can't have a soggy sandwich. Nah, man. I got to eat that fresh. But yeah, dude, who amongst us, when they passed that bill, they knew what they were doing. They knew exactly. That's what. DUI City. Did you hear overdoses? They finally got the numbers on drug overdoses, 2020 to 2021. I bet they were pretty high. 100,000, dude. 100,000. I don't know if that's fatal or just over reported overdoses. No, it's got to be fatal. I think it's fatal, bro. Hundred thousand. Now here's what they're saying, and I don't know if you remember this. Remember a year? I don't know if it was a year or two ago. I was like, dude, black people are about to start getting crushed by pain pills. Ever there? Like I was trying. I, I, oh, dude, all my bros I know who are getting into the perks who are black. I was like, dudes, you don't know what you're doing. Leave these things be. Leave them to the whites. We did this. <laughs> we did this. This did not go well. And I don't think you guys like you guys are taking these things like they're nothing. And I, I'm, they're, they lead to heroin. Oh, dude, man, you know all this shit. I'm like, no, I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, this isn't cool. Migos isn't, you know, they like, like dudes would like tell me like, yeah, but like, what about like Meek Mill pops? I'm like, yeah, he's yeah. on, he's going to jail for dirt bike stuff, dude. That's <laughs> yeah, not that's yeah, not yeah, the dude yeah. you need life advice from, dude. So he, um, now they're spinning it because they're like they didn't want that to come out, like because it's like you know you don't want anything to make the lockdowns look bad. Yeah. 100,000 people dead from the fucking dude. From overdoses. Which, again, where did that come from? Remember when all of a sudden, like, the same companies that are saving us were like, oh, yeah, here, you're going to have heroin, by the way. Yeah. The people we're trusting our health advice with gave us heroin. And now now that, like, now they're saying it's disproportionately affecting black people and Latinos. That's because all the white people who would do it are dead from it. <laughs> so it's like, they're like, well, now they're the numbers are creeping up. So now it's like, it's hitting them real hard. And they're now they're turning the surge in opiate overdoses into a racial issue. And it's of like, course. you motherfuckers, dude. Of course they are. You motherfucking weasels. They're pretty good. It has nothing to do with the fact that you sold heroin yeah. to everybody, claiming it wasn't addictive, and all of a sudden it's like, well, you know, race, this is all because of racism. And it's like, dude, I read that and I was just like... Oh, it's a good move. Sell people <sighs> the optics are deadly strong. drugs and then be like... You guys are being racist. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what? What happened? I can't believe how racist you guys are being. A hundred thousand dead? That's pretty racist. It's of crazy. you guys. It's fucked up. Not us. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy, man. I, I read that and I was like, motherfuckers, dude. And I try to warn my bros. I said, guys, dude, Don't. I know you think the Migos are cool and all this shit, but like I'm telling you, these things are wildly addictive. To be honest though, there were a lot of people that were being pretty racist about it. The what? I, I remember some black 
some black people oh, in the black about community the like, shit? oh, now that it's white people, you got a problem with it. It's like, oh, no, yeah. this is a pretty serious problem. Dude, that's my that was my argument. And in guess gra- what? Now it's come to you guys. Oh, it's fucking. And I bet we all care the same because it's not racist. Bro, they're going to have their, that's going to that? skyrocket. That's going to skyrocket up, dude. That's like, because the whites got hit with it. And it's just, it just. The white people. <laughs> it just goes out. White people. Dude, so when I was in graduate school, they talked about that. They're like, well, nobody cared about crack, but everyone cared about opiates. And I'm like, dude, it's different though. Like your doctor didn't give you crack. Now, if you want to talk about the CIA infiltrating black, and like, dude, no one yeah. wanted to get on that. I'd be, I'll be like, I'll give it to you. The CIA infiltra- infiltrated black communities. Dude, all the honks would just be like, well, eh. yeah, dude, don't get me. <laughs> I love it. It's fun to do that. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Let's end this one and go. Where are we at? We're at 104. That's fine. That's a perfect episode. Don't split fucking hairs, Guardian. <laughs> okay. Sean, you acted like a fucking piece of shit last night. <laughs> you want to know something, though, for real? You acted like a sack of shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You should have seen him out there. He was, he was wilding out. We were sitting up in that upstairs bar so you could see the sidewalk out yeah. front. We got a new La Mer, dude. We got a new Mr. Cool when you and me aren't around. Really? Guard Dog holds it down. Holding court. I heard him out there. He was like, yeah, I wrote all Shane's roast jokes on that thing. <gasps> and I was like, you, you wrote fucking one of them, dude. Damn. I, had to, I grabbed him by his ear out front. You said, he didn't know I was <laughs> he twisted there. twisted his ear I up. I said, get in here, mister. <laughs> Sat him down. I said, let me see your phone. Show us pictures of that girl. I gotta. I want to bring that back, dude. I, I think kids... We, people have stopped hitting kids, but we got to get back into like my like twi- ear twist hair. My dude, dad, was, my dad was a big hair puller. Used to get the back of the neck like that. Yeah, dude. Dig oh, in on the back. It sucked. Yeah. Yeah, kids need it, man. I'm watching kids just get absolutely pussyfied. I'm gonna up. yank a guard dog's ear next time I hear him bragging. <laughs> twist his hair, dude. A hair pull fucking stunk. Hair pull's crazy. My dad would grab like grab our hair and be like, ah, God get over damn. Here. Dude, sucked. That's because you guys were a bunch of long hairs. Oh, uh, like dude. Hippies. My dad would make my brother cut it. He would go like this. My brother would show his... My dad would pull his bangs down and go, cut him over. My brother would be like, I don't want to, don't want to fucking cut it. Because they were trying to go like a fish concert. My dad would be like, cut your fucking hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> cut your hair. Tom, like, my bangs are here. My dad would pull them down. Like, They're past your goddamn eyes. Mayor, cut them. My mom would fucking hit snot, dude. Give him the bowl? <laughs> Give him the, Give him the Ajax? <laughs> the Ajax prison cut? Give him the Dutch boy. Yo, if you hit prison with a bowl, bro, nobody's fucking with you. Especially he's huge. He's a big boy. Going in with an Amish bowl, like a bob. A Spud likened it to like an actual knight. Like he looked like a medieval <laughs> knight. Like it was like that. And then it... He's about to do a bit, dude. He's like a friar. Yeah. Let's hit the page. All right. Fuck. You have a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> <laughs>